Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And I am so glad you are here today with me. And you know we're going to talk about something and everything. We're going to get into it. But I just wanted to say hello and hopefully each and every one of you all are doing fantastic. Welcome back. That's the next thing I have to tell y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the channel. Then you had to come over here. You sure did. But you were like, let me go see what they are talking about. I know she ain't talking about nothing but a piece of shit. But it's something. And I'm going to go on over there and get me my, li- my little kikis and my little ha-has. Okay? But don't forget, as you come into the house, or if you're when you leave in the house, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Come off that fence. Come off that curb. Come from in the bushes. Just come on into the house. And I say welcome to my YouTube family. Okay? But as we always have to say, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. You know I like the comments, even though y'all be coming for a sister, but it is what it is. That is my channel, okay? That's my original channel, and this is my second channel, all right? We need you all to go over there, do your thing, uh, subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow, all right? But we know you have to use this fair disclaimer act. Everything we doing over here is alleged. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Get it into your mind. Everything you're hearing over here at the house is alleged. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know nothing to be factual because we're too sorry to go into, you know, just to go in, into investigating the situation. Unless it's just one thing that just, you know, just picking at me, just gnawing at me. And I have to go see it for myself. But then that would be an exclusive. Okay, so we don't get too much into those, but you know we got to have a talk. We got to have a conversation. We got to get into it because this person that we're going to be talking about, child, <laughs> child, I can't keep it undercover any longer. We got to talk about it. We got to have a conversation. And why don't we get right on into it? Jada Pickett, Will Smith. That's who we're going to be conversing on tonight. Sharing our perceptions and our positive um, perceptions on the thought that they are doing what they're doing out in the social media world and then don't want to be held accountable as far as when other people want to talk about it. Because when y'all did this mess, you did it in the public eye. So, what befitting way is to bring it back to to the station and talk about it? I know Jada or Will has said something about their um they need to have privacy, but no, no, you don't. You don't need no privacy at all. Now, for me, I see it as a public uh, publicity stunt because they want to talk about uh, Jada's book. Which to me don't seem like they're talking about the book per se, but then I thought about it. It was a book on her life and what she felt the scenario to up to, to up to this point about her marriage to Will Smith and how she must feel some kind of way because everybody is attacking her verbally about what is she doing out there? Why are you messing with this man? Okay, just divorce him, split up the assets, and move on. But I want to tell you about these two people, Isaac Davis and, um, what is her name, though? I have mercy. Oh, let's see. Ozzy uh, Davis and something. What's her name, y'all? Ozzy Davis. Ruby D. Ruby D. How could I forget that? Ruby D. Okay. They had somewhat of a 
ask and don't tell policy. How they got around. He liked it somebody other than her. She liked it somebody other than him. And they just made an agreement. And she was the one, uh, the first black child to desegregate a, I guess, a predominantly white school. Okay, those were some scary times back there. Uh, in my mother's uh, generation, she's 84. Still can do more than I can. And I'm just embarrassed about it. I am just embarrassed about it. But anyway, um, Jada feels some kind of way. And she has a right to feel some kind of way. She, uh, do we think she's very delusional and she needs some mental counseling? Yes, we do. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, we do. But I don't know. She may have been to a therapist and felt that the therapist really didn't work in her favor or what she was doing at the time that she needed that type of uh, appointment with a psychiatrist. Uh, most of you may not know, but a psychiatrist can write medication if he deems it worthy and necessary for your uh, well-being. But you you can't be on a lot of other medications too. You know what I'm saying? So get somebody that you can constantly talk to about your issue and save your marriage with Will because you're not you, you're not gonna um, find anybody else out there and see if they. Find, we'll find somebody out there and make her a good woman. He ain't going to be looking at you. So there's going to be another man that you may start fantasizing about again. Because y'all have two grown kids. Okay? And a dog, I believe, or a cat shit. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But, um, yeah, let's listen to the audio a little bit. And I was so upset that I had to have a wedding. Yeah. I was so pissed. I really? went crying down the freaking aisle. I'll get married. Yeah. Yeah. Cried the whole way. <laughs> I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. Wow. I was failing miserably. But on the outside, I was winning. Like, I was built a house and called the house her lake. Is I remember saying, like, I built this house for you. Mm. I called it her lake. And she said, you built this house for you. Yep. And I was like. <laughs> it just wasn't possible. There was no chemistry between us. I just felt like he was off track a little bit. There were different stages in my marriage where Will and I decided we were not together. It was devastating for me to accept that I built the house for me. Yep. Because in my mind, I was yeah. saying I was building it for her, but I wasn't. Yep, yeah. I wanted this house. Exactly. I called it her lake as an ego cover. Yeah. Right? And Jada was calling me on that. Yep. I really didn't want to get married, but... We only got married because... Gammy was crying. But I just knew. I was like, I never wanted to be married. It was, a <laughs> it was a mess. Jada was sick. But she would have wanted to be married to Tupac. Now, wouldn't she? Moving on. Yeah, she was very yeah. unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> By the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. That in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was... Where is the respect for a man you walked down the aisle with and pledged your life to? What's the dude's name? August? I know it was a friend, a friend of your son, who's 20 years, 20, 21 years younger than you. What you do is your business. Any woman out there that wants to be a cougar with a dude of legal age, that is your business. But the operative words are your business. Did you have to go and tell everybody? Give it to yourself. And that was Stephen Smith. He has a podcast, so go and check him In out. In a tale recounting the events at the 2022 Oscars, the buzz is all about Jada Pinkett Smith's unexpected reaction. It occurred when Will Smith addressed her as wife during a heated moment with the comedic star Chris Rock. The chain of events kicked off when Chris threw a joke Jada's way, likening her to a movie character G.I. Jane. This comparison stemmed from Jada's condition, alopecia, which causes hair loss. Chris aimed for a chuckle, but the jest didn't sit well with Will. Fueled by anger, he stormed the stage, slapped Chris, and warned him to 
sternly against repeating such remarks about Jada. In the midst of this, a wave of emotions flooded Jada. The confrontation left her in shock, and hearing Will refer to her as wife added a layer of surprise. Jada expressed her disbelief, pointing out that it's been ages since they last used those particular terms. The context to this revelation lies in the dynamics of their relationship. They aren't divorced, but have been navigating individual paths since 2016. Will invoking the term wife amidst the chaos of the Oscars caught Jada off guard. The incident, rife with emotion and intensity, cast a spotlight on Jada and Will's unconventional bond. The Smiths are no ordinary couple. Their journey defies the typical marital blueprint. Their presence at the Oscars, flanked by family, didn't mirror the husband and wife dynamic that the world is accustomed to. Hence, hearing Will utter the term wife publicly marked a significant moment, showcasing the evolving nature of their relationship and underscoring the deep-seated effect. Okay, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Well, I will see you on the next video. Bye.